before you book your next Florida holiday, please take these next points into consideration. Firstly, our 2022 holiday was compiled and booked by my dad, which included the villa, theme park tickets, etc. He utilised Tui with a fly drive package, giving him the opportunity to chip away at the overall cost over an eight-month period. It is a lot of work looking for the best prices and products, but the savings you can make be worth it. So to our 2023 holiday, we decided to use Virgin Holidays, as Tui has let us down on the flights and vehicles, and with the added charge in travelling further out to Melbourne International Airport also being a key factor. Virgin Holidays are approached to look at every aspect of the holiday, including flights and seat, upgrades, vehicles, villa and theme park tickets. But the staff in their shop were great and willing to help and ensure our requirements were met. Unlike our two experience, we looked at a more upmarket area of for the villa and upgraded our vehicles to the superior SUV, Chevy Tahoe or similar. Due to our baggage requirements, this is why we're in for these size vehicles. Virgin were extremely competitive with their theme park tickets, so all looked good resulting in a deposit being placed. We were also given the opportunity to chip away at the overall cost, thus removing the stress about how to fund the overall package. A few months later, we requested the address of the villa so we could update our esters and look at the home for more details for the two week period in June 2023. Virgin then stated this would not be available until two weeks from our departure date. How could this be? What if they were placing you in an unacceptable area and having paid a premium price for the privilege? Virgin responded with, that was their policy. And down to their villa, suppliers, home beds, we therefore contacted the villa supplier who amended the notification to 24 hour or 24 hours prior to departure. Despite our best efforts, this could not be altered with home beds stating we had chosen to be allocated on arrival. This holiday was booked 11 months prior to our departure date. So why would you be allocated on arrival? The villa we had booked 12 months earlier issued their address with both exterior interior pictures showing you that to expect and the main reason we chose that villa and supplier in the first place. So as the days passed, our departure date arrived. I had to say our flights to Orlando were fine, even if they had slipped up with the dietary requirements we had previously booked. The flight was comfortable, the crew fantastic, and the overall experience most enjoyable. Upon arrival in Orlando, the whole airport process went smoothly until we arrived at Alamo, hire company for the vehicles. Normally you are told to pick up your vehicle from a line in a category you have booked and off you go. This time we were issued with two Nissan vehicles where we could not even get five cases in one. These were much smaller than a Chevy Tahoe and considering our return flight was premium, two cases each, were not appropriate for the cause. We were eventually given a Ford Expedition and a Lincoln Navigator, but not without their issues. Then we opened the door of the Lincoln Navigator and we were met with an odor we could not describe. And with having three children in, so we took the vehicles and traveled to our accommodation. Both vehicles were fully valeted the next day at our expense. At the villa all looked great from the outside and my first impression upon entering was almost favourable. 
In the morning, issues began to emerge, resulting in a list being compiled for reporting to homebeds. A remedial action. Two beds were broken. Window blinds broken and lying on the floor and two broken dining chairs and a broken kitchen stool. And this was just the start. We have pictures from the following day of items removed from the villa pool, including earrings and broken plastic elements. These have resulted in injuries with bruising to the soles of two people. It took the company 10 days in total out of a 14 day holiday to respond, rectify many of the issues, excluding the pool and two broken beds. The dining chairs were of an inferior quality and the window blinds would not open after their attempt to repair. Now taking into consideration. Noise and acceptable behavior. As you enter the resort, there is a sign that states no noise after 10 p.m. Or you could be removed from the resort if this was not adhered to. Every night we have kept awake from drug smoking and loud partying in the surrounding villas. We were all so close to each other. You could hear private discussions, which I do not wish to repeat. Despite the complaining to the main gate security team, nothing was re ever resolved, resulting in us calling 911 as requested by the on-site security team. This is now getting ridiculous. It's 20 to 20 to 12 at night. And this is what we get. Right down there. See that fat one?
Let's just ring Roses. Let's get Roses down. This is his last night. Up early in the morning, so we've got to get ready to get to get out for ten o'clock in the morning. We eventually discovered all villas around us are booked via Airbnb, with people only staying up to one to four days, hence the partying atmosphere. With young children in so, and the smoking weed fumes being ever present, we no longer used the pool and kept all doors locked. This never removed the noise and we even received verbal abuse when requesting the culprits to kindly lower the noise levels. So, would you have accepted all this considering you had paid over 17,000 for the privilege. I think not. So upon arrival back home, we contacted Virgin Holidays and reported all the issues we had encountered. Alas, it has fallen upon deaf ears with Virgin Holidays, offering us 300 pound off our next Virgin booking. Really? Virgin Holidays say they have contacted HomeEds who have stated all reported issues were resolved. We now know Virgin will be using Hertz for their vehicles from next month, so obviously Alamo does not meet their expectations. Why not HomeEds? All they had to do was place us in an area where we were not overlooked and surrounding families. Also, there for 7 to 14 days. Is this not the reason you are only informed of the address 24 hours prior to departure? So as not to cause them more work by refusing the allocated villa or location once you have checked in. Please take all of this into account before you part with your hard earned cash and don't encounter the same issues as we did. We found there was blocks of wood up against the windows to stop anybody from the outside getting in because the gate on the back was just a little pin that you pressed across and that locked it. So anybody could just kick that through, walk up, slide the doors open. As you will see in the video, when I was going around all of the rooms, there was no safe. So I don't know where they expect you to put your passports and your money.